If you looked at the very first stream or video of any of the top 50 streamers, and then you went and looked at the latest stream or video they've released, what do you notice is different? What do you think will be different? You'd probably see a big increase in production quality, better thumbnails, titles, and their editing is much tighter. But there is something I notice every time that I don't think many others do. Something that is far more important than your editing or production quality, and that is their confidence. Today, I decided that I'm better than all of you at video games. You see, confidence is key. Nobody is born confident. Nobody is simply gifted with the ability to speak and keep people engaged with what they are saying. It is something you learn through experience and practice. And as someone who wants to be a content creator, it is something you need to learn through experience and practice in order to be successful. You might think you don't need to improve this, that you're already a confident and comfortable person, but I guarantee that every single person has room for improvement. But we will cover both being underconfident and overconfident today, as well as give you actionable tips to improve how you speak and present yourself on camera. There are time codes in the description to skip ahead to whatever part of this video you need the most, but something I can confidently say right now is about our sponsor, Own.TV. I wanna say thank you to our sponsor, Own.TV. You guys should know about Own by now. They are a fantastic resource for any streamer. Own.TV have animated overlays, alerts, and so much more for your stream. But as I always say, the most important thing isn't your stream, it is actually how your gameplay and you look which is why I love the fact that OWN also have static overlays that take up way less PC resources, meaning you can let your computer focus on encoding your stream and making your gameplay look buttery smooth. We have a link in the description, and if you go down there and click that and check out what they've got, you might come across your brand new overlay pack, maybe some new alerts, or maybe your new sub badges, because they've even got subs and emotes over there. A massive thank you to OWN for supporting the channel as well, so if you want to support me, guys, go and support them with the link in the description. It really helps us out. Something really important about that ad read was that I said it with confidence. Why? Because confidence makes a viewer, aka you, believe in me. Believe the video is worth your time. Because time is short, and if you don't instill the confidence, they will not waste it on you, because on the side of YouTube are thousands upon other people to click. Confidence doesn't mean being loud or excited. It doesn't mean being arrogant or over the top. It just means you have an air or an energy that shows you believe in yourself and what you are saying. If you're in a group of friends and you tried to tell a joke, but you stuttered a lot, maybe you paused, hesitated, it throws off the timing and it lacks confidence. The group of people might not laugh or even hear you. This is why it is crucial to practice and build your own confidence, because if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody will believe in you. Before we talk about how to build confidence as a content creator and specifically talk about one of the major ways you can ruin your own confidence, I want to talk about a fear I have and a lot of creators have that actually hurts their growth and that is the fear of being overconfident or arrogant. Overconfidence and arrogance are incredibly dangerous mindsets and if you don't have that little voice in your head keeping you humble, telling you that you still need to improve and pushing you to work hard, then you will struggle more than someone who lacks confidence. Someone who comments on this video saying they are anxious and need help, I can give dozens of tips to help them. And if they take action, they will improve. But someone who comments on this video saying, I've tried everything, I've done every tip, and I'm not growing. This all comes down to luck. Well, I can't help them because nine times out of 10, when I go look at their stream, they don't have a schedule. They barely speak, their footage is low quality, they change games every stream. And at the end of the day, they refuse to believe the issue is with them because they are overconfident in their own skills. Being confident is important and it is always better to be a little overconfident when performing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But so is being aware of the places you need to grow. Finding that balance is crucial. So let's talk about how you can improve your confidence with my favorite tip of all time. If you've watched this channel at all over the past year, you've heard it before, but I swear it is the most important piece of advice I can give you for gaining confidence, becoming used to your own voice, your own face, and becoming a better content creator and a presenter in general. If you have heard it before, do not comment down below about it because I haven't mentioned this tip in about eight months now. And if I haven't mentioned this in eight months, that means we've gained 60,000 new subscribers who might not have heard it. So don't come after me, it's important. To do this tip, I want you to grab a camera or your phone and record yourself for 10 minutes without any preparation at all. Don't put any music in the background, turn off any games, no videos to react to. Just sit down and talk about anything directly to camera and try to be engaging and entertaining by yourself. Don't stop talking for the entire 10 minutes and then just hit done. But don't watch it back. Go about your day, go get some food, take a walk, give yourself the stranger and live your life until the next day. And then when the next day does come around, 
Sure, watch your footage back. And I mean, watch it. Turn off every other distraction and watch the entire 10 minutes. Don't fast forward, don't look away. And if you feel like you need to fast forward or look away, then congratulations, you have room for improvement. When that video ends, don't wait, don't prepare, just grab the camera or the phone and start filming yourself for another 10 minutes and repeat this every single day, for weeks, for months, every single day. Within a week, you'll notice you'll be able to talk longer. Within a month, you'll notice how much more confident you've become on camera. I promise it is incredibly powerful and every entertainer, streamer, presenter, and I think generally person should do this. Whenever I give this tip, some people say, I watch my VODs, isn't that the same thing, LJ? And I always say, absolutely not. This tip allows you to practice safely because nobody else will see it. Only you will see this footage. Nobody will judge you and most importantly, you have to talk without distractions or help from things like a chat or a game, which means you learn much faster. The reason I am saying this tip again is that it really is the best for building confidence and on-camera talent. If you've heard this tip before and you haven't started doing it, I want to ask you honestly, why can't you afford 20 minutes a day to practice the most important skill you need as a content creator without any risk of being judged by others? I know it is scary to be judged by yourself, but learning to self-critique and becoming comfortable in seeing your own content is crucial for becoming an entertaining content creator. That said, I do think it's funny because I believe a lot of confidence building isn't doing specific things like that tip, it's actually not doing specific things that ruin your confidence. Let's talk about two major examples. The first is incredibly common and almost every single person watching this video right now is doing it. And that is comparing yourself to others. If you spend your time comparing yourself to other creators, you are going to go mad. Either you'll compare yourself to people more established or better than you and feel bad, or worse, you'll compare yourself to the people less experienced or worse than you and you'll feel good about other people struggling. Neither of these things pushes you to improve and neither of these things reflects you. Your journey is completely different from mine and every other streamer's journey. You cannot compare us to each other. It's like if I compared my very first YouTube video to Harris Heller's latest video, or my very first stream to Ludwig's latest stream, or if I compared my latest stream to your latest stream. It is such a wide gap that it makes me feel terrible or it makes me look down on others. The actionable tip here is if you want to look for a comparison, the only comparison you should make are to your past self. Was this stream better than my last stream? Was this 10 minute recording better than my last 10 minute recording? How can I be better than my past self? That shows growth and gives you places to improve without bringing other people in to make yourself feel bad or feel good. Comparing yourself to others is one of the worst things you can do, but it isn't the absolute worst. The absolute worst thing you can do to ruin your own confidence as a creator is coming right up. But first, I do want to throw it out there. If this video helps you out at all, consider subscribing to the channel or checking out the other content first. If you found this interesting at all, I make videos weekly on all sorts of topics such as Twitch and YouTube growth or just general content creation. And as you can see, being more confident in yourself. I don't really like doing this, but asking you guys to subscribe is honestly one of the most powerful ways to actually get you to subscribe. Plus, it is free and really helps us out. So what is the absolute worst thing you can do to ruin your own confidence as a creator? Well, the worst thing you can do to ruin your own confidence as a creator is actually talking down to yourself. What? The brain is a very weird and very powerful ball of squishy meat. If you sit there and say to yourself, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, then you will suck. Negativity creates more negativity. And don't get me wrong, it is incredibly difficult to shift your thinking. I have an acute anxiety disorder and have dealt with major mental health issues my entire life. So I completely understand negative thoughts being intrusive and hard to control. I am not saying you need to start pretending to see sunshine and roses everywhere or be a 100% positive person. But a slight shift from I suck, my content sucks, to this stream wasn't the best, but I tried my best and I really liked this part right here. And this part here was really funny as well. Now I can see where I can improve and want to improve next time. This tiny, small, insignificant shift in thinking and how you approach a bad event or a bad stream goes such a long way to making it better next time. Because the truth is, I make terrible videos all the time. You guys know I do because you watch them and tell me they're terrible. But the worst videos I make are always when I am in a terrible mindset, when I don't believe in myself. 
But the best videos I make are when I believe in myself, when my community has lifted me up, when my friends and family have supported me and said, hey, LJ, you don't suck. The actionable tip here is next time your brain says, I suck, try to correct it. Even if you are lying to yourself, say, I don't suck. I'm a beginner, I am improving and I'm trying my best. And if you keep shifting that logic to be more positive and you keep working, well, you'll slowly start to have more confidence. As long as you do the 10 minute recordings every single day, I'm making it a challenge for all of you to do that. And hey, if you wanna learn other places you can improve, then why not click this video here? It has 32 tips that you can do right now, no matter how many viewers you have, to make a more entertaining and engaging stream. Mark yourself out of 32 and let me know in the comments. See you guys next week.